memory unlocked. <laughs> ah, I love that sound. That one too. Mm. See <sighs> Sorry about sarcasm is disengaged. That's fine. It's okay. There's moments where it's just it's not gonna be there. No, hey, this is just the light. Made by wait. human entertainment. Wait, wait. I don't know. Are we allowed to watch this? Is it human entertainment made by humans for humans? I think so. It is. But in any case, though, uh, on a it was a dark and moody night when some flashlights were sh shown at a screen. We got flashed. Call the cops. Yeah. Ah, get out of here. Ah, they're trying to exhume the script for Billy Madison too. No. Please, Look, as no. long as I'm not trying to get um, E.T. out of the ground. Ah. These two brave men were went out into the war into the woods and rescued the only surviving copy of Resident Evil 1.5. It was dead they, on arrival. <laughs> and they now present Resident Evil 1.5. Meanwhile, in another movie. Uh, this is not the Hall of Justice. Um. Well, uh, Albuquerque. Isn't there supposed? Isn't there supposed to be like a taxi cab wait, waiting for me? No, no, no. She can walk. It's 18 miles, but she can walk. Uh oh. Oh yes. Stereotypical shots of rural Japan. Wait, did we just um, fall into a Tekken intro? Is she a dentist or a doctor? Doctor child? It, 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 oh, okay. So she's she's Doogie Hauser cousin. Oh, okay. Never mind that. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that that was an abrupt cutoff point. Uh, it's it's a, it's okay. Nothing was happening. Today. But I also get the feeling that there's going to be a lot of abrupt cutoffs in this game. Probably. But in any case, everyone, welcome to Clock Tower The Struggle Within, or aka Clock Tower 2 The Struggle Within, aka Clock Tower Ghost Head. Uh, I am Chris Jabberwock at the controls, and uh, oh boy, we're going to have ourselves a monster of a go go time. It's truly going to be a manos a manos uh, encounter, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that sounds fun. Okay, well, bye, folks. Wait, so the, the just real called. twist... She'll be arriving tonight. It's just that there was no monster. You really think it's okay having her stay with us? Well, I mean, she's a teenager. The children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. Except for her B.O. Anyway, that is pretty Ashley rank. will be home soon. Don't look so worried. I am sure there won't be some sort of horrific story that takes place after her arrival. <sighs> I mean, it's not like we're in any sort of horror story. That might be <laughs> that's that's oh. stupid. I'll go and see. I'll, I'll go and see. Yeah, I just got stabbed 73 times. <laughs> that's not Ashley. That's not Ashley at all. That's Oh, she's very slowly walking away. Yeah, don't don't hurry Damn. to see who's at the door or anything. Damn, we'll never catch I'll up inhale. to her. That Maxwell curse is... Is what? About coffee? Ah! Hey, I was right. <laughs> hey, he called it. It's okay. We'll stay here. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you, you, you guys take yeah, care of the plot. We'll, we'll don't just show out here. anything. Just, oh, we'll wait out here. Yeah, fine. We'll, we'll be out here. You jerks. Wait, we got kicked out of the house real quick. Hello, Uncle Philip. Aunt Catherine, it's Alyssa. Were you screaming at someone else just now? Also, if their daughter is Ashley, that? why would she need to knock at the door? Well, like like Bart's ring. So now we have Alyssa, uh, Alyssa here. Their shoes are here, so they must be home. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, I'm just going to turn on this light real fast. So for anyone who is not aware of this game's eccentricities, uh, you pretty much have to do things in a very specific order. So I'll be very focused on the walkthrough as we play. But in any case, though, Alyssa's had a long john. She needs to go to the bathroom and see what's going on. And, oh, wait, oh. A wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh someone oh. peed all over 
floor and then left her leg in here. Legs don't go on the toilet. Come on. Oh. He doesn't go on the floor. It does not. Oh. Look, somebody oh, had an accident. She's like, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm out of here. I better find my aunt and uncle and tell them there's pee all over that place. But it's not mine. Well, the water closet's all screwed up, so let's see what the bathroom looks like. Uh, let's see. Mm, well, Oh, uh, there's more... There's more pee. Ugh. Oh, there, oh, okay, there's hang a on, let's bathtub full of it. Okay. I, I, I just gotta say, by the color of that pee, they're not drinking enough fluids. Mm -mm. No, they're not. I forgot there was a hint you, over you there. You found hint number one, what, like in the laundry? <laughs> yeah, in the laundry, there was a hint. Oh. It's the torso, only more so. I hate it when I hate it when I leave a torso just laying around. Oh my god, we're stuck with teenage jigsaw. I, I think that it's might even fun. be uh oh, it's kitty cool. jigsaw. Which is somehow worse. Look, I've already played that D and D sorry. session with Jigsaw, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I I have already messed up my uh, walkthrough notes. Well, shit. I have oh, too no. I have too much on my mind. I need to start spacing out, like, because I have all the trivia in front of me as well to mention. But a fun piece of trivia is that uh, Alyssa Hale, uh, our protagonist, is voiced by Rebecca Wink. Now, Rebecca Wink. I wonder Wink, what this key goes to. Winking. Rebecca Wink is also voice of uh, someone that we've become very familiar with, a certain uh, Deputy Emily Wyatt in Ooh. Deadly Premonition. This is one of her earlier parts. Um, yeah. But yeah. Okay, so go into the dining room. That's right. Okay. Key. Somehow she knows it's a dining key. She literally asked, mm. what is what is this key to? And then just kind of just... Fuck well, it she's she's a protagonist in these kind of stories, and there always seems to be like a sixth sense of knowing what kind of key it is. All right. Well, we're gonna use it on this door, and mm -hmm. see what happens. My God, that that dining room is gigantic. We you you could actually fit several apartments in that dining room. My apartment could fit in there right now. Oh, oh! You don't pee on hospitality. <gasps> I won't allow it. <laughs> It wiggle, wiggle, wow, wiggle, wiggle. Wow, that sashimi is really, is really, really weird. <laughs> it's gonna give you a hand. <laughs> oh, God. Wave to the nice people. Wave. It's only an arm? <laughs> Blow them kisses. <laughs> hey, it's that arm who always flops about. Let's make fun of it. Well, back to the ridiculously large dining room. <laughs> Get used to that. We're going to be there quite a, quite often. I, yeah, and every time I'm just going to be like, why are you so big? The, look, the dining room has a glandular problem. Because those people have more money than sense. All right, I have found too many severed limbs. Let's try to leave. Let's try to get out of here. I'm done. Fuck this. I'm out. Go Mysterious. No, no, it's... No, no, Alyssa, it's a pole. It's a pole, Alyssa. I can't open the door. I'm pushing against it. It's not working. Oh, I'm going to the Nick Miller school of you can't tell me what to do. I'll, I'll, I'll push if I want to push. All right. Ah, there we go. Oh, wide hallway too. Yeah, pretty big. I do still love the way that this, these games had this sort of like diorama look to these 3D environments. So that was always really neat. Oh, also... Oh, uh, yes. diorama -rama. <laughs> So, there's a Clock Tower 2 poster here. Now, this is because oh. of the fact that uh, the PSX Clock Tower game we played was technically Clock Tower 2, as it was the sequel to the Famicom, the Super Famicom one. But, uh... But, yeah, so... Neat. I okay. miss Jennifer. This is all starting to take the piss. No! <gasps> no! Oh, no! They've curried her head! Oh no. Oh. Help me. Bot. Oh, Help oh, there we go. No, she was she was so she was, wait, she was so, waiting so, for her. So oh wait, it's it's a child's head. It it's a yeah, it's a young woman's head. No, uh, stop. Uh, Don't be afraid, Alyssa. Norman, shut up. 
So that is Bates. This is not explained in any way, except for I think a hint tells you about that. But essentially, the... Um... Bates is the master. <laughs> yeah. Alyssa has an alternate personality. Now, unlike necessarily like Psycho or one of these, you know, very typical, uh, you know, sort of stories where it's like, oh, we're going to stigmatize mental illness and dissociative identity disorder and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's never made 100% clear, but my theory is that Bates is not a alternate personality, but is actually like a spirit that's possessed her, given his uh, very fulfilled, very full personality. The funny thing, though, is the voice of Bates is Roger Jackson. As in what? the guy who asks you, do you like scary movies? Yeah. Yes, I do. I do. He also has been a prolific voice actor, even appearing as multiple characters in Deadly Premonition, and actually oh, got man. his start on The Secret of Monkey Island. I totally miss that. Hmm. But also, I mean, he's obviously it's a spirit or like... Island. Yeah, you hear it immediately with that voice. <laughs> um, um, but like, it, it's it's obvious that he's he's like a demon because whenever Bates is in control, there's that like special magical yeah. purple effect. Yep, the underworld glow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, other personalities don't make you glow. Well, they do, but you need a lot of glow sticks. Yeah, I mean, except for the Hulk, but. Also, the Hulk is slightly different. Yeah, so. that's a, that's a, that's a, again a very different situation there. And also glowing because of radiation, probably. Right. Anywho, um, so as basically, oh, by falling on our butts like that, that introduced the amulet because the amulet fell off of Alyssa, um, when she fell in the kitchen, and thus the ward that kept her safe from Bates coming out was uh was taken off essentially anyway so we're just in this bathroom here let's take a look what's going on well, at least here? this bathroom There's that isn't covered here. in pee it says help i'm stuck in this game huh well let's it says check the drink your oval team huh. well, huh. what's in this cabinet here oh what Yes, because everybody stores their pistol in the upstairs water closet. Yeah, because... This is exactly how Polly Burton got shot, isn't it? Are we actually playing Resident Evil prequel? That's a good question. <laughs> and, of course, the family has samurai armor just standing in the upstairs landing. I'm sure that's that's not that important. But yeah, it, the implication is that the brother of the kids is very into, like, just a lot of nerd weeb stuff. And, well, not weeb, I guess. Because even though, by the way, the, the the localization of this game changed everyone into American characters and said that, oh, it takes place in California instead of Osaka. Like hell. <laughs> like hell it does. You're okay. It's Uncle Phil. I was just, Uncle Philip, what happened? I was just cowering in this corner here. <laughs> No time in the to dark. Explain now. You've got to hide. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, um, Uncle Phil, you're, you're not. You're not doing a good job. I mean, you're not James Avery. Yeah, you are no James Avery, sir. All right. I mean, you're you're kind of there with the baldness, but not quite. Oh well. Yeah. How creepy. It's spooky. Hey. Hey. No. 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 Excuse me, sir. Sir. Armor, sir. Mm -mm. Anyway. Well, I'm sure it won't know how to open doors. Yeah. No, we're fine. Doesn't even have hands. So, so, by the way, we were not able to get into this room until that was triggered. Just. just a, yeah. Of course. What? And now... Statue? What is this? It, it's possessed. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh. It Ow. has some kind of power. A possession power. Statue hot. <laughs> the professor will help. Huh. Well, 
Time to raid the uh, cousin's, um, la you know, laundry. Or Well, that was weird. Never mind. Uh, I'll just go scrounging around for keys. Anyway, welcome to my science project. Is the average video game protagonist smarter than a hamster? <laughs> no. No, they're not. Hamster 2, protagonist 0. By the end of the experiment, protagonist 1, hamster 73. Even the hamster's just like, dang. I, I, by the time the, these protagonists finish high school, the hamster has like 7 degrees. The hamster's just really embarrassed. Yeah. Now, you might be wanting to know if I can check the piano in. I kind of can, but it seems to trigger uh, some of the stalker events, which I prefer not to do because those can get you killed pretty easily. That's... Well, I would imagine, yes. All right. Yeah. California house, definitely. Yeah, California. So California. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, the door closes mysteriously. Stephanie? If, so here's, again, now, there's a lot of things that are very specific. If we had not checked that suit of armor, the son of the family, Michael, would be dead I in this chair. Michael went. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's not exactly an A to B kind of... No. ...thing. Nope. But, thankfully, uh, he is currently alive, as far as we can tell, and um, we have a key. Oh my god. So many keys. Yep, it is a bedroom uh, key. Uh, I'd make a joke, but I'm just like, she's just entered the house. Her cousin is dead. Another cousin is unaccounted <laughs> for, and the third cousin is also unaccounted for. Oh, wait. wait yeah, is, that... is Stephanie, Stephanie Tanner? Yeah, Stephanie. I would be more worried about getting out of the house right now than just like. Let's look for keys. Well, we gotta unlock some doors. We gotta find Aunt, Aunt Catherine. Aunt do Kathy. We? Do we? Yeah, yeah, we totally do. I mean, she was do able to go know? out on that balcony. Couldn't she just find a way to, like, leave climbing down the house? Or <laughs> People something? don't climb yeah, off just... of balconies. <laughs> oh, Romeo does. Oh. Well. Yeah, yeah but he's dead. He also does does make some unfortunate life decisions. Mm -hmm. And Rick did it once or twice with um, what was the game? Oh, you mean uh, the... song with him? Oh, song of horror. Song of horror. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now we need yeah. to put that in there, and now comes for is now the reveal of the stalker character in a moment. Okay. I, I absolutely adore, though, how this has very much the feeling stop. of... Uh, oh, wait. Stephanie, stop, please. Oh, she's reading out of the pun book again. Terrible. Stephanie, Stephanie, no. I don't want to hear you say how wooed again. How wooed? Ah! Just kill me now. Hmm. How wooed of you, mother? Ah! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, so this is the gender bent Michael Myers story. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Catherine, run! It's it's just Hurry, Jamie Lloyd. Run. Hurry, run! I'm getting this terrible no, headache, and you know how angry I get. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> uh oh. Jigsaw baby. Hurry up, Bye. lady! Get the hell out of here. Or I'll ask you what your favorite scary movie is. Anyway, kick to the oh, face! Corp. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> <laughs> but the kids still laugh. They like the the the, the, the deepest kids. It's funny. <laughs> oh no, that's hilarious! Welcome to Clock Tower. Struggle with this. Oh. My little monster. So what you want to do here is uh, lock the door. Obviously. That wasn't that might... easy. No, that was totally... Bates, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking the, about? That was the easiest thing. You That's literally... the easiest thing we've seen in this series. <laughs> that, was, that was a moment of like actual inspired idea of like in a horror 
situation where, you know, there's a scary thing in there. I'm just going to lock it in. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, the idea of, oh, yeah, this is a kid with a knife. Boot to the face. Yep. I will drop kick that fucking murder child. Bates might be a demon, but he has some common sense. But look, Bates is actually not my favorite character in this entire series. Yeah, it's like, what if Ghostface was possessing you? It's kind of neat. To be turns honest. out, no. turns out the only person who would actually survive a slasher story is the slasher. What do you know? Damn. Didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm good at hiding. I'm really good at hiding. Oh, well. First of all, we need to uh, we need to take anything that isn't bolted down. But the tank is empty. But the oh, tank is. But the tank is empty. Oh, <laughs> sorry. But is is the tank empty though? This kerosene heater still works. Neat. Okay, I have to click it twice, right? I don't know. There we go. Okay, yeah, and why? Catherine, stay still. I'm just going to pour this kerosene all over you. <laughs> what has happened to Stephanie? And Ashley? Uh, Ashley's fine. She's totally fine. Don't worry about what her. What happened here? Tell me, Aunt Catherine. Ugh. The curse. The curse is what's causing this to happen. It's all that cursing curse? on television. People saying fucking shit and cock. Aunt Catherine, that's We're weird. We're doomed. The Maxwell curse is going to kill us all. Oh, God, she used the M word. Maxwell. <gasps> I love the fact that they're all like, this is all happening, and they're still in their slippers. Oh, well, yeah. 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 How else are you going to run around this house if not in your slippies? In your sockies? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, when it's something I want to do, it's ridiculous. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it was. It's ridiculous. Look, if you're just wearing sockies without your slippies, you could just walk into that pee and it would soak right through your sockies. Don't you dare to use logic with me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back into this bedroom and uh, confront this uh, little girl. Oh, oh, never mind. She's gone. Okay, never mind. We're good. Damn it. She She's out- in the goddamn walls. <laughs> she outsmarted us. Letter? Dear mommy and daddy and my cousin who I haven't killed yet, Mr. I'm gonna kill you Helen all. Haley, it's from my father. It's postmarked 16 years ago. That's just weird. Why, that's shortly after I was born. Hmm. The statue I sent belongs to the Maxwell family. Okay. Ultimately, it was only a statue. And probably has nothing to do with Yeah, this Maxwell's possibly magic. cursed object doesn't have anything to do with their power. Narrator, he was wrong. Probably nothing to the curse either. For now, anyway. I'm giving you the statue. Yeah, it's not like I could, you know, pour like 15 tons statue. of concrete on it. Statue? <gasps> not the statue in Stephanie's room. No, dun, the other statue. Dun. There's actually 18 possessed statues in this place. Oh, God. All right. Well, guess it's time to go track down that uh, that statue. I mean, it's like it's going to go anywhere. Yeah. It's... You know, the Maxwell curse is really just about coffee. May your, all of your coffee be burnt. See, I thought it was about being very smart. None of these people are. Neither was Maxwell smart. Mm. Also true. Yeah, but he was more entertaining. Now I'm just hoping Stephanie tries to kill you and she just goes, Mr. by that much. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well. Let's go through here. Let's go see if that statue's there. I wonder if that armor's ever going to come back into it or if that was just a fluke. Hmm. We're all just dead staring at the screen, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, don't you toy with me, mister. Oh, I dealt with enough stalkers like you enough. Oh, god damn it, it's gone. I hate it when armor just... It's uh, gone. 
starts the statue, walking through the hallway. Where did it go? Yeah, you know, it, it's the main thing. You know what I don't like the most about it is that it, it just gets in your way and it won't move. It, it's it's like, dude, I'm trying to, dude, I got to get this laundry put away in my dresser. I got to put away this amulet. Hey, don't you try and stab me. Don't you try and stab no, no, me, mister. Stop it. Stop it. No, no. Uh, okay. Bates shows up and he's like, that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever. <laughs> that's pretty much where his character goes for a lot of the game actually <laughs> he's very, <I'm> very slowly, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> coming at you see I knew that was coming up and I just didn't bother seeing <laughs> watch out that uh, that set of that suit of armor is going speeds of three. Oh, oh, uh, uncle, uncle three Phil. miles a year <laughs> oh, whoops, sorry uh, there we go. Uh, Sorry about that. Uncle Phil. Uncle Philip? Hey. Oh, you're not hiding. Because of that Maxwell curse. Maxwell sure. curse? It doesn't matter now. You must go hide in the den. Is the curse to have a lot of keys? Yes. Curse kind of blows. I mean, it's not the worst curse, it's just the most awkward. Things are you good? Things they follow me, Alyssa. I didn't, are you, you going to show us where the den is, Uncle Max or Uncle Philip? No. Let me just check and see. I think, I think this is the laundry room again. Let me just double check. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm I, I, still I hiding in here. <laughs> she's she's fine. Yeah, I I missed. Why uh, you're all in hiding line. place? You're not actually hiding. Yes, I am. I'm hiding from my responsibilities. Touche. <laughs> God damn it. Brain chair. I, I, <laughs> I, I think we're actually starting to become one person. Oh, God. We're going to be like the uh, the malformation of uh, the Dixie Chicks from Futurama. <laughs> we're in <laughs> terrible we're pain. Just put us out of our misery. Oh, God. Put them out of my misery. Books don't go on the floor. They go on the shelf. Wait, right, let me turn that light on. Is that for in here or what? It Wait, is. books go somewhere? What? They go to the store. They go on our bags. They go on our shelves. They go on our hearts. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm hiding behind the books. <laughs> All right. Well, oh. I guess we found the den oh. that we can hide in. Is there anything here? Okay. Wait, there's bookshelves in here. Why we we couldn't These put books, any of the books there? They all look so difficult. Advanced alphabet. It must, <laughs> oh. it must be a bunch of Thomas Pynchon novels. A no, no, it's like first book is basic alphabet, it's A B C and then advanced alphabet is D E F. Mm. Okay. D, 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 D Ooh, a piece of candy. Oh wait, no, it's a lighter. Ooh, piece of lighter. Ooh, cigarettes. That's like candy. No, it's not, kids. This is the statue. Everything started after Stephanie found it in the closet. Oh, well. What? That statue? God, that's Why like do you keep... put it in your kid's, st kid's the closet? Is true. Yeah, that's like putting that's a loaded gun in the house. Possessed. Or... Well. I'm possessed. You're I'm possessed. not possessed. I've been cursed, too? Uh-oh. Alyssa? You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family. It's time to get on the clue cool train. Whoa. Yeah, Uncle, Whoa. Uncle Philip, no. See, I'm oh. calling out, I'm calling Uncle, I'm calling Uncle. That oh. doesn't help. Okay. How was that going to stop the curse? I have no idea. Okay, here's where things get really stupid. So, you're wondering, how do I proceed from here? Well, all you have to do is go through this door, and then go back through the door, and then you're able to proceed. What? This game is painful. What? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. What? Oh, dude, we're not even getting started yet. What? <laughs> burn it! The statue! Burn it! Uh, yeah, sure. It's stone! Oh, yeah, it's bro, it's gonna be totally stoned when we burn it, bro. <laughs> 
Why is I'm he? I'm sorry, but did, did he just pass out on the floor? He just is. It's just gonna lie down and take a nap. Burn the statue. But stone doesn't okay, burn. Okay, well I better find that tree stump where the leprechaun tells me to burn things. The last thing we need right now is actually a crossover with the Leprechaun series. Yeah. Uh, I, I know, that would be an improvement. You know, I sadly missed a, a screening of Lef Leprechaun in Space with the director in attendance at the Hollywood Theater the other day. Oh my god. I know. He went to space. Yep. But yeah, good on... Brian... Go ahead. But do you ever notice, like, a lot of films, slasher films, like, there's always a point when they go into space. This fireplace can still be used. Yeah. Jason X, uh, yeah, Jason X. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Yep. Leprechaun. Yeah. Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway. This fireplace can oh. still be used. Yes, I know it can okay. still be used. Put the fucking statue in the fucking fireplace. Good God. No. Was... No. <sighs> no. No. This no. fireplace can still be used. I don't want to. Oh, for fuck's you sake. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, so apparently, I just looked at my notes. I have to get the amulet back first. So I'm going to do a safety save. Ah, so. And at this it. point, folks, we're going to say goodbye. No, no, we're, we're, we're not going to say goodbye. We're almost at the end of the chapter. We're fine. We're fine. Are we fine? We're fine. Like I said... We're playing this game, we're not fine. <laughs> oh, we have not gotten started. <laughs> Can we get more moments like kicking that little kid in the head? Because that was pretty great. Uh, Without spoiling it, there are moments akin to it, yes. Okay. Then I'm happy. Yeah. There's, there's something about her legs that any particular angle one leg looks longer and thicker than the other yes and i don't know how much of that is just the aliasing and how much of that is the weird shading the shading and lighting in this game is really not great what it, the odd thing is that it keeps switching between legs because at one point like one leg will seem like noodle thin and the other is just like a thick chunk. And then it switches over. Yep. That's the mystery of games. Also, uh, hey, hey, wait, wait. Hang on. I'll be right. I'll be right there. Oh. Wait. Don't, don't you slowly walk away from me. You can't move don't that you. fast. <laughs> don't you walk at a normal pace away from me. Hey, come back here. I, you've got those long noodle legs. I've only got my, these stubby chumps. Not to mention he's encumbered. Well, this is this is why you need to clear out your inventory. You you you're carrying too much and are encumbered. Well, maybe it's samurai armor. It's mainly cardboard. Well, maybe he doesn't have the you know requisite. <gasps> uh oh, wait. Oh, kick her in the gonna... face. Yeah, do it again. I'm Throw the statue at her head. Statue. Burn your statue. Burn it. <laughs> yeah. Clicky, 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 clicky. I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> nah. Oil can. Oil can. Just, it, just pull it out of nowhere yeah. and just, yeah. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. Calm. okay, why there's an earthquake? I don't know. I'm Whoa. going to kill you. Oh. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> What good is it gonna do to burn that? Oh, it'll make me feel better. <laughs> oh! No! Stabbing. That's the way I do it. Well, yeah, cause you're you're just Ghostface. Uh, could you go get the fucking amulet now, please? Ghostface Thank loves stabbing. He do. Amulet, protect me. <laughs> Oh, she's fine. And this is why you always double tap the killer. Yep. Hey, it's, um, okay, I guess it's burning. 
Oh. Okay. Sure. All right. Stephanie, I'm sorry. I'm gonna lie down now. <laughs> Face first, punk. Right next to an open flame. That has perfectly, no guard. Yeah, perfectly good place for you to both pass out. And that's it's Earthquake the end Central. Of that. <laughs> and so that is the end of the first chapter. Uh, uh, how many chapters are there? There's three. I hate uh, you. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been raining. Oh. Are been you five. okay? Yeah. Alex Corey, Monterey County Police. Monterey County. <laughs> they think what? we're in America. <laughs> Bullshit, Corey. You don't have to talk, but you do have to listen. This place? Memorial Hospital. I got a call from Tate's wife. When I went inside, I found you and a girl laying on the floor. You'd stabbed her really you. hard. It was fine. I'm calling this now. He's going to be one of the bad guys. How is she? She was badly injured, but she'll be okay. She's not going to die. You stabbed her pretty good, though. Yeah, I mean, I was, I mean, hell, I was impressed. You're under arrest. What was that? Uh-oh. Hang on. I'm going no to leave, leave this murder, this potential murder suspect alone, and I will be right back. He said, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. Yes, a Californian hospital. With Japanese not a Japanese clinic. clinic. Noisy uh -huh. Monsters Cage. All right, we're going to uh, save, and then we're going to call this an episode. But we're making pretty good time, folks. Be ready, and please definitely join us for the next session, because, oh boy, it's on now.